Hi, I'm Jason Halliker. And I'm Steve Reeser. And today we are joining you to talk about Lake Mumo, one of our favorite resources, and this serves as the official biologist report for 2019. Uh, typically, we like to shoot or film this uh, piece while we're out there in the field yeah. on the water. Uh, and we did that when we were out there on May the 7th this year, but things didn't really go as planned. No, it did not. Uh, apparently, we do not do well on camera at 2 in the morning, uh, so we decided to do a little reshoot, and so we're coming to you from our library here in Verona. And I, I think it, it adds, it makes us look a little more intelligent, you know, like we know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's always a good idea to have books behind you when you're <laughs> filming things. Regardless, uh, while we were out there, we got a great sample. Um, we, uh, we got some great shots of the fish that we want to show you. And so, Reese, tell us a little bit about how we go about sampling Lake Mumaw, the sites that we choose and where we sample, and some of the fish that we catch out there. Sure, Jason. Now, Lake Mumaw is, is, is clear water. It's steep-sided. And for that reason, we have better success at, at capturing fish with electrofishing if we sample at night. So we sample uh, Lake Mumo at night, and we've done that for many, many years, and, and consistently we do that every spring. We have three sample locations or survey stations. Uh, the first is at the very head of the lake where Back Creek and the Jackson River uh, come together. Our second station is down around or where, where the islands are located in the middle part of the reservoir, and then our, our lower station uh, is near Coles Point. And so we electrofish for about with a boat, with a boat electrofisher for about a half an hour uh, at each one of those locations every spring. Uh, and we capture all fish. So that's sunfish, a few trout here and there, uh, yellow perch, channel catfish, chain pickerel, the common carp that are out there. But our main focus are the black bass. That's both the largemouth and the smallmouth bass. That's our target out there in the spring doing this electrofishing. And this spring, we netted 288 smallmouth a little almost a hundred uh, largemouth bass and that ratio is typical for this fishery It's dominated by smallmouth bass it was also very encouraging to see multiple year classes of fish uh, so we're seeing good recruitment out there good spawning success so uh, you can expect to catch fish anywhere from four inches up to 20 plus inches of citation size and that bodes well for the future of this of this fishery uh, those young fish are one day going to grow into those trophy sizes Speaking of trophies, we netted quite a few really nice smallmouth. We did. Um, 75 of the uh, 288 that we netted were over 14 inches, so they're falling in that nice preferred size. And quite a few were pushing that 18 to 20 inch range, like this big guy right here, uh, which is really what those anglers are after. So a great fishery for smallmouth. It's looking awesome right now. Um, largemouth, on the other hand, it's not a trophy fishery uh, for largemouth. Um, it's not going to be like your Smith Mountain Lakes, your Lake Annas. Um, you'll get some four to six pound fish, um, but you're not going to get uh, trophies in the largemouth category. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think the thing we want to stress is that, that Moomaw is uh, a black bass destination. I mean, it's, that's, that's the main fishery uh, in, in, for, for anglers out there. And it's really a sleeper smallmouth lake. I mean, from my, my perspective, it's what I've seen. I mean, for a place that, that you know, quality size, preferred size, and a citation size smallmouth, uh, you know, we've got the, the, the trout fishery that's supported by stocking, and you and we, we have some yellow perch out there that at one time was it was a quality fishery that's declined over in recent years. Uh, there, there's always some quality black crappie to be found out there, but so, certainly just because of the productivity of the lake, it's those aren't really species that people are going to really be drawn here for. It's really the black bass and then the trout in the, sp in the spring and early summer. So that's that's where I think people should focus. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, well, um, it is a little bit of a challenging lake to fish, but if nothing else, uh, get out to Lake Mumaw for the scenery. It's a gorgeous place, a diamond in the rough, um, and we hope to see you out there soon. So thanks for watching, and remember to go outdoors, Virginia.